Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new episode. This is part one on a minimalist mindset and on how you can achieve and maintain it. I think it's hard to achieve a minimalist mindset, but it's even harder to maintain it. But when you do achieve it, it can help you in so many ways. For me, it has brought joy, beauty, a sense of calm, peace, freedom, a change of focus from things to experiences, and much more. It has helped me question every aspect of my life and be more conscious and intentional of my actions. Achieving the mindset is to accept the perspective with your heart, mind, body, and soul, making it the guiding point of your life. I will share with you a few guidelines in achieving and maintaining a minimalist mindset. If you have not seen my videos on what minimalism is and why I became a minimalist, I'll put a link above and in the description box below. The very first step is the reasons to why you want to embrace minimalism. Why are you embarking on this journey? What is your why? Is it to reduce stress, anxiety, save time, have more space, a sense of clarity, peace and freedom? Is it financially driven, emotionally driven? What is your why? Your why is your why. I do not want you to go out there and compare yourself with other, looking at other people's reasons for inspiration, because deep down you know your reason. Listen to it. Comparing yourself to other can lead to false belief, having you accept a reason that is not true to who you are and not a, a reasonable, strong reason to carry you and guide you the entire way. The minimalist journey is a marathon, not a sprint. I recommend that you take your time to really think about it because your why is the very foundation that will keep you in, the, in your track and prevent you from derailing. One thing that can help you is to write down your reason to minimalism on a small piece of paper. You can laminate it and have it with you as a constant reminder till that day that you do not need to be reminded when it's actually a part of who you are and the life you live. The second step is to practice gratitude. I just I used to have colleagues that would constantly ask me and, and question why I would come in positive and happy to work, especially on Monday mornings. Some would say that there were something wrong with me and would only laugh at the matter. But, but the very secret to my positive outlook was due to my practice of gratitude. I used to write down on a smaller piece of paper that would carry it with me every day of things that I'm thankful for. It started as a morning activity. I read and thought of the things that I was grateful for and that would literally change the direction of my day. And just to carry my list with me during the day so that if my mood started to change directions, I could, I could go back and read my list in order to help me stay in the positive lane. I used to ask my colleagues who, who questioned my perspective to list things they were thankful for. At first, I would always get the answer, nothing. But I stood my ground and continued to ask, can't you think of anything you are grateful for? Are you not happy that you are alive? Are you not happy and thankful for being able to breathe by yourself and not by a machine? Aren't you happy that you can move your fingers and legs? Aren't you happy? By doing so, they themselves started to see that there are so much to be grateful for. Not everyone liked this exercise, but some actually started to see things differently. This exercise did wonders to my life, and I believe it can help you as well. That's it for part one in this ser series. As, as a recap, make sure to take the time to find your reason which will guide and carry you the entire way of your journey and make sure to practice gratitude. I hope you got some value out of this episode and stay tuned for part two. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, please leave a comment below of your thoughts about minimalism and minimalist mindset. If you don't know, I publish a new video every week and I'm also the author of the book, Ready to Take Action which is available on amazon.com. You'll find the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching 
and until next time, bye-bye.